This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. My name is the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We're talking this week about why we should be vocal about our faith. And that starts before anything else with knowing what the church means to us. We say we're about transforming ourselves and the world. So how has being involved in the church been transformative for you? And before you say, I don't know, consider that if you are watching this, you likely opened up an email from a church on a weekday and are watching a bald minister talk in his guest room for five minutes. That takes commitment and commitment does not happen unless there's a compelling reason for it. Sometimes those transformations, that compelling thing at the core of our faith, is a dramatic story. I've, I've told the story plenty of times of joining the Unitarian Church of Baltimore in my mid-twenties, getting cancer, and then the role that that community played in putting me back together. But stories of transformation don't need to be dramatic. Maybe the church is the community where you practice being the best version of yourself. Maybe it's where you find connection with other people. Maybe it's where you hang out with folks of different generations and learn how their lives are different than yours and how they're the same. Whatever that story is, I bet you have it. And maybe, maybe, the church is a place, a time, a group of people with whom you experience God, or the ineffable, whatever name you give it. That's the start for these conversations about how to be out loud with our faith. Tomorrow we'll talk about why we share these stories outside of our own community and our own church. Two announcements uh, today, just uh, as, as housekeeping and some excitement. First, um, there's another scam going around today. So if you receive an email from Reverend Oscar Sinclair today asking for help, that was not me. Please know, as always, that I will only ever contact you from my at unitarianlincoln.org email address. And I will never, not ever, solicit donations outside of giving directly to the church. Second and more fun, tonight is the second night of Reverend Kimberly Debus's course on hymns for our congregation. We'll have a link to the Zoom meeting in the e-blast, but tonight at seven, we'll gather to sing some songs and reflect on the theology that is present in our music. Why these songs in this hymnal? A seminary professor of mine calls hymns portable theology, and listening for what we sing can deepen and broaden our understanding of our own faith. That's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow.